we see that on many occasions we tend to remain with our past actions or with our past guilt if we have done something wrong we normally find it difficult to move on sometimes we tend to ruminate over the same action or over the same deed over and over again and we see that this is not very helpful because it prohibits our growth on the other hand we see that jesus encourages us to grow he tells us to focus on the future not to fall back on the past now the same thing can also be said about those who rely on past glory and any achievement is good but to boast about the past achievement and be completely relaxed for the future is not the right approach so this works both the ways but what is important is the message of jesus be focused on the future and try to make use of the opportunity that is given for growth and today's readings will speak about the same thing now jesus always gives us an opportunity to grow at the same time we see that as we near the holy week the battle between the scribes and the pharisees the tension between them and jesus tends to hotten up a bit and in today's gospel we see that they plan to trap jesus but how does jesus outwit them let us find out in today's episode of tea time with the word But before we can begin our reflection let us take a look at the readings for the 5th Sunday of Lent. Today's first reading is from the prophet Isaiah chapter 43 verses 16 to 21. Today's second reading is from the letter of St Paul to the Philippians chapter 3 verse 8 to 14 and the gospel is from the gospel according to St John. chapter 8 verses 1 to 11 as i said today is the fifth sunday of lent which means that the finish line is in sight and as we enter into the final week before the holy week the church offers us readings to encourage us to motivate us so that we may continue the journey that we have begun the finish line is in sight which means we need to put in that bit of extra effort so that we may be satisfied and we may rejoice on the final day with the lord in this way we see that today's readings in other words offer us encouragement and hope now in today's first reading which is taken from the prophet isaiah we are invited to remember how the lord delivered his people from egypt but then we are told also not to remember only the former things but to look forward to the future because the lord says behold i am doing a new thing which again is a reminder for us that we need to keep our gaze on the future we need to focus on the future a similar thing can be seen in today's second reading Now today's second reading is from St Paul's letter to the Philippians and St Paul speaks of forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead again a message to focus on the future to use the future as an opportunity for growth and reflecting on these two readings we can consider the call of the church that we need to focus on the future the church in other words tells us not to dwell on the times where we have messed up or on the times where we have slacked in our commitments but the church tells us that this is now the time this last part of lent is where we should buckle up and move forward 
बिकॉज क्रिस्टियनिटी इज अ रिलीजन ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंट होप एंड नॉट ऑफ रिमोस डेफो विथ होप विथ एनकरेजमेंट एंड विद द करेज एंड द ग्रेस ऑफ द लॉर्ड वी आर मोटिवेटेड टू मूव फॉरवर्ड इन आर लेंथ एंड जर्नी ना ऑल दिस इज विथ रिगार्ड्स टू द रीडिंग्स ऑफ द डे लेट इज टेक अ लुक एट टूडेज गॉस्पल ना टूडेज गॉस्पल पैसेज इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वाई बिकॉज इट रिमाइंड इज ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी वन एंड इट ऑल्सो रिमाइंड इज ऑफ द मर्सी दैट द लॉर्ड हैज ऑन अस नाउ वी फाइंड द सेम थीम वॉट वी हैव सीन इन द फर्स्ट टू रीडिंग्स द सेम थीम ऑल्सो अपियर्स इन अ सटल फॉर्म इन टूडेज गॉस्पल पैसेज नाउ द स्क्राइब्स एंड द फेरजीज दे कम टू जीजस इन अ बिड टू ट्रैप जीजस and here they claim that there is a woman who has been caught in adultery now according to the law of moses if anyone is caught in adultery they should be stoned to death and therefore they come with this case to jesus in a bid to trap jesus to see what jesus will do whether jesus will follow the law of moses and condemn her to be stoned to death or will he allow her to go free once again we see that these two choices or these two options had their own consequences now if jesus does allow the woman to be stoned then the roman soldiers would arrest him for subverting their rule of law alternatively jesus could opt not to have the woman stoned but then the jews the scribes the pharisees and the teachers of the law would accuse him of not following the law seems to be quite a tough choice but how does jesus tackle it well we see that jesus does not take the bait he side steps their trap now although we do not know what jesus exactly wrote on the ground one thing that we do know is what he told the pharisees and the chief priests he said let the one who has not sinned among you be the first to throw the stone and now we see that jesus plays the reverse card in a way jesus gives them a taste of their own medicine the scribes and the pharisees had come to trap jesus but now we see that they are trapped by their own question and how do they respond we see that each of the scribes and the pharisees starting from the eldest and the wisest begin to leave one by one now the scribes and the pharisees were certainly convinced that they were without sin and hence one would assume that they would throw the stone they would be ready to throw the stone but then they were faced by the dilemma if they cast stones then they would be the ones who would be arrested on the other hand if they did not throw the stone then they, it would mean that they would have accepted the fact that they were sinners and therefore they leave one by one and thus we see that they realize that jesus had outwitted them and they begin to leave one by one now the final words that jesus says to the woman are something that we can all reflect today and something that is important in our day to day lives now these words would greatly help us in our last phase of our length and journey he says neither do i condemn you which means that jesus wishes to help us not condemn us and therefore he invites us to turn away from our sins and to continue to draw closer to him by following his teachings and by making a commitment to follow the right path now once again if we are to give a kind of a theme for all the readings we can see that the forgiveness of the lord is very evident in all the readings and we see that 
this appealing theme invites us to leave the past behind and to move forward into the future. It is a call to move out from the old life of slavery to the new life of freedom. Once again, going back to the first reading, we see that God asked the people to let go of the past and to look forward in hope for he is going to make something new. Last Sunday, we heard about Jesus telling us that we in him, we are a new creation. And therefore, Jesus wants to make something new of us, provided we give him the opportunity to do so. Secondly, in the second reading, we see that St. Paul's experience of Christ makes him consider everything else as rubbish and he presses himself towards moving towards Christ. Similarly, in the Gospel, Jesus asked the woman caught in adultery to go from her burdensome past into a liberating freedom. And therefore, this freedom is something we all cherish. We desperately long for liberation and for God's mercy. But unfortunately, we hardly recognize the mercy of God that is in front of us and as a result, we emulate the Pharisees by accusing others. We see that we tend to focus on the attitude or on the misdeeds of others and in a way, we tend to hold back to some things of the past. What we do forget is that when we accuse others, we too stand accused. When all the accusers had left, Jesus stayed back and he showed the woman the mercy and forgiveness of the Lord. And by doing so, he offers her a second chance. He gives her another opportunity to grow and improve in her life. This same opportunity is given to each and every one of us every day of our lives. What matters is whether we are ready to take this opportunity and with the grace of God make amends in our life. In fact, the woman caught in adultery reflects each and every one of us because in her freedom we are set free. In a way, all of us are sinners and yet we have not been stoned. If that woman does not deserve forgiveness, neither do we. Because we too have sinned, we too have gone away from the Lord. But Jesus is merciful and kind. He invites us to make amends to our life. He invites us to place our faith and trust in Him and walk along with Him. And therefore, let us reflect on this question which would help us to make more sense of today's readings of the day. How will I mark the Lord's day today? What is one thing I could do to also help the other people in my life make this day a day of rest and not of work? Reflecting on these questions will help us to indeed internalize today's readings and we ask for the grace of the Lord to help us to move forward in our life, not to remain stuck in the past, but to take every opportunity to grow and make amends in our life. Amen.